I'm gonna show you guys how does Mickey use his step stereo here. Go! The stair, use the stair. Go, Mickey, Mickey, go over here. Third time's a charm, okay, Mickey? Okay, use the stair, okay? Mickey, look. Cool. Here, right there, right there. Good morning everyone. Good morning Mickey. How are you doing? It's been uh, quite a while now, right? It's been over a month, month and a half. As we last saw Mickey. Welcome to season four of Mickey Shisu. Summer edition, right Mickey? Nice haircut, huh? Mickey was just at the groomer uh, over a week now. Uh, her ponytail, her top knot is growing perfect now. Just need to do one more time and uh, she's doing very well went to the a checkup not too long ago and uh, she's very healthy you know blood tests and everything came out really well healthy girl so what do we have in store for Mickey today yes dumplings for Mickey because Mickey as you know is a very picky eater and she's spoiled we know that and we're making dumplings for her now. Of course, we're using the dumpling wrappers. And of course, these wrappers are uh, recommended by uh, Ryan and Gatsby. And so we follow through them. And we also have some pre-made uh, doggy uh, chicken meatballs. Uh, basically, this round chicken, peas and carrots and green beans, chopped up, grind up. Uh, these are chicken breasts. And I had a pre-made uh, you just steam it, boil it if you want, eat it like that. Or you can put this inside the wrapper and create these. Very simple, right? Mickey, you have evolved. You compare yourself like from the last season to now. Look at you, you're so different. You're like a little girl. You're like, you're like a, a young, a young lady. Look at you, so pretty. Yeah. So we got the water boiling now. We're gonna boil it. So the dumplings is all done. When the skin turns transparent, that tells you that uh, it's pretty much ready and it floats up in the water. Perfect. There we go. That's perfect. Mmm, dumplings. I don't think she's gonna finish all of this, but that's a good snack food, uh, lunch food. But uh, yeah, nice steaming hot. Look at that. So people were asking about how do we tie her top knot. Uh, this is how I'll demonstrate right now how my wife does it. Uh, kind of push it all together, you know, make sure it's nice and straight. Get a rubber band, and then once you get it up there, uh, do another knot. Double knot it, and then it'll be, it's gonna be tight. So what you gotta do is you gotta loosen up the rubber band, uh, loosen it up a little bit so it's not pulling on her skin, but it's giving enough room, enough slack for it to stay put, but not uh, pushing her skin. So make sure to you want to uh, you know if she has eyebrows, you know brush out her eyebrows. If she has hair stains, you know kind of at the same time. Take your fingers and kind of rub it out, you know. But yeah, that's how you do it. Hi, Mickey. Uh, look at you, Mickey. 
It's so nice, it's so cute. It's so cute, Vicky. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. I'm such a pretty girl. Oh, ho, 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 dumplings. You're sniffing it, huh? Yeah. What we're gonna do is, we're just gonna chop it up a little bit. Because, you know, it's a big piece. She's not gonna swallow the whole or anything. So, chop it up, you know. And then, uh, it's a lot easier for her to eat in general. Um, something that, uh, like I said, this is something that we give not all the time, but usually when she's not wanting to eat, or like today is the 4th of July, and the fireworks, and she's having trouble eating, and she's scared of the sound. Mickey was up all night last night on the 3rd of July because of the fireworks. So she didn't want to eat any of her food. So our job is to make sure that she gets her appetite back. So then cooking one of her favorites, dumplings. Hey Maddie, how you doing? How you doing Maddie? So uh, Maddie's doing very well too. Maddie's doing very fine. Thank you, that's that for me, yeah? That's for me, Mickey, you see that? There's a smiley face, see that? Smiley face. Yeah? There you go. Go! Where is it, Mickey? Where is it, where is it? Where is it, you lost it? It's right there, though, you see it? It's right there. Where's the dumpling? Or you can do it, Mickey. You can do it. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, you found the dumpling, Mickey. Good job. So smart. So smart, Mickey. Go. Want to see the window? Come on, let's go. Let's go, Mickey. Window time. Over here. Forgot the window, windows over there, Mickey. Yeah. Do you have the multi pass? You know, multi pass for the gate. Dallas multi pass. Multi pass accepted. Let's go. Current temperature outside, we're talking about 91, 95 degrees. Extremely hot. No way I'm taking her out today. Took her out one time at 87, around this time. It was a bad idea, bad idea. She came back, she was exhausted, body was overheating, she was drinking water nonstop, and she was panting so hard, so. Best that uh, keep her indoors in this temperature. We'll wait till sunset or early sunrise to take her out. Is that someone coming, Mickey? Who's that? There's a car coming, Mickey. There's a car. Look at that. Yeah. Mickey, is it nap time? Yeah, it's nap time. Mickey goes to take a nap around this time between two and three.
So, what have we been up to? Uh, of course, you see a little change in the house a little bit. Uh, the pole ramp we had before, we still have it. It's now in our bedroom now. We have this amazing three-step top paw. Uh, I forgot the actual name of it though. But this was recommended by uh, Lei Shi Shitsu. So I want to thank uh, Lei Shi Shitsu for this awesome paw ramp. Uh, it's a, it's not a full step. It's a kind of, kind of a, uh, a slow incline step, which is perfect. It's nice and soft. Nice memory foam material to it, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, this is the logo. I forgot the name of it though, but if you are interested in this Paul wrap, I will leave a link in the description down below for you to check it out. This is perfect if your dog is having trouble getting up to the sofa and she likes the sofa. This is a great way to use it. The paw ramp I had before, the nice long ramp, that's okay too. That works out pretty well too. Uh, sometimes it comes out a little inconvenience because it's nice and hard. You can actually hurt yourself because it's wood. I actually hurt my toes at one time because um, I walked past it too fast and hurt my toe. With this, it's soft. You're not going to hurt your, your toes or anything. So, great product. Definitely great product. So, uh, definitely recommend it. I'll definitely show you how it's done too with Mickey walking up there. At least show your audience how you go downstairs, okay? Go Mickey! There we go, see? Go downstairs. <laughs> Mickey sure likes the monkey. There you go, see? <laughs> there you go, there you go, yeah, there you go, you got it! There you go, see? There you go. Go get it. Go get it. I use that memory foam uh, bed as kind of a safety in case she uh, decides to jump. Mickey's being Mickey right now. So, Mickey, you know what time is it? It's time to. Good job, Mickey. You did a very good job. Look at you, huh? You enjoy that? Little in indoor workout plan, huh? Mickey's Fitness Club. Good job. Thank you for uh, showing us what it's like to be a Shishu in our family. Appreciate all you guys uh, being here for Mickey. I know it's been uh, quite some time now. Of course, you know, mommy and dad is getting busy now. With our busy lives, work is back on track now. But uh, trust me that um, you know we're, we're still around, and uh, yeah, the episodes are coming. I know you guys uh, definitely miss her, so not to worry. We're gonna be filming. We'll probably take a lot more time now. But yeah, thank you for being here for Mickey, and uh, I'll definitely see you guys next episode. Okay, Mickey, want to give me a kiss? See you guys. Bye. Bye-bye.